Hey guys, do you want a gorgeous former model home to live in, in the Avalon Innovation Way, the end of Sunbridge, where it would end up, and near Waterford Lakes all combined? Then stay tuned because do I have the home for you. Hey guys, welcome back. This is our new listing here at Rosedale East in, off of Alafaya. This is right next to Avalon Park's uh, downtown district, right off of Innovation Way, where Sunbridge will be meeting up in the future when it ends out to, towards this way. We also are not too far from Waterford Lakes. It is a gorgeous centralized area, and this listing will blow you away. Now, this, this home was the Pinehurst model home for Jones Homes. It was built in 2017, and this home was never lived in. Now, the base price of this home, or the listing price of this home, is $895, and it's a four-bedroom, four-bathroom, 3,833 square feet of pure luxury. It has a backyard patio, it has a pool, it has a view deck that wraps around the second floor, it has a theater room, right? Theater room slash loft, right? And it is a magnificent home. So stay with us, HOA is $150 a month, no CDD, hit that like and subscribe and let's go. All right guys, so here we are right in front of this gorgeous home which is 14036 Alafaya Oak Bend. It is our new listing. And as you can see, this driveway is getting installed as we speak, because it's converting from a model to a residential home just for you. Now guys, we have the manicure, uh, manicured landscaping up front, right? I love the Rubellini uh, palm in the front. Look at this home, guys. Look at the uh, uh, coach lights that we have on the corner, the Gotham Styles numbering. Love this two car garage door with the little slots on the top for light to get into the garage area. Then we have the stone fa facade. Fa uh, facade. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm all messed up today. <laughs> we have the stone facade up in the middle of the home with the two peaks on each side. Very nice. Now, as we approach the home, of course, your paver tiles are gonna come straight up to the foyer area where we have these two ultra nice columns, right? But guys, take a look at how big your front porch looks like and how manicured that bush is that surrounds it and gives you a little bit of privacy. Love that. Now, as we enter the foyer area a little bit more, we have the doorbell here. We have a combo lock, which is really nice. And then this green door to let us into the home with the glass pane. So let's go in the home and check out what the rest of this home looks like. All right, guys. So here we are inside of this beautiful model, X model home, because this is your next home, right? And as soon as we go in, remember everything that you see in this home is available at the price for you. So that includes the designer features such as this little design that they did here, almost like a Wayne's coating type design, right? Love it, goes all the way up with this large super mirror that they have here in the middle. The beautiful and then, tray ceiling. Yeah, with the chandelier. Look at that chandelier, that funky look of the chandelier with that tray ceiling, amazing, love it. Now guys, the hallway is a good size as you're coming in. Pam, did you measure that? No? It's about five feet. Five feet, nice. So it's five feet wide, so plenty of space. Now I wanna show you really quickly, this is the stairs to the upstairs part of the home. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. But also, if Pam hasn't showed you, oh, I really haven't said it. <laughs> the <laughs> floors of this home, that full wood tile, amazing, I love it. I love it. Now we have the open areas behind me, but what I love is that we spin around really quickly right? Like a dance. <laughs> and we come to our first service bath right here for the bottom part of the home. So we have our pendant lighting, our mirror. We do have the, uh, the vanity here with the dark color cabinets and the light color uh, stone. But we have 
the tub area with a transom window, tile all the way up and that Lestello leaning down to the bench area, not a bench, a niche area. A niche. Yep, so you for your shampoos and your soaps and all that. Now, love that. And, and as we push on more to the front of the home, remember the ceilings in this home are about nine and a half, ten 10 feet. Awesome, love it. Now, so we, we come to the first part of this bedroom here where it has the low windows for more natural light real estate coming in. And we have two windows here that are decorative, right? This is knee level the sill, so you get a lot more light coming into the home. Full size bed, nice stands. We have a, a cadenza here, but we also have a half walk-in half step in closet and it's 11 by 12 yep so excuse me for the jumbling it, this is our like third home of the day so <laughs> i'm a i'm a little mumble, mumble, mumble. <laughs> and it's warm yeah it is all right guys so continue on with the home i love the open area of the home you have a wet bar as well behind the sofa area which is nice you have this cadenza here but you have the 42 inch cabinets with the double stack and the display cases on each side with the underlining that is amazing if you're a wine drinker there's your wine fridge or beer you know whatever fits right and then you have more drawers for more storage on your alcohol go ahead and it's six feet long six feet long so if people are hanging out here you want to make a couple martinis you know shaking not stirred you can bring them right over to your friends sitting on this gorgeous l couch here and then across two windows now this feature wall goes all the way across to the to the patio doors so we have two windows in between which are fantastic and then we have again a built-in right this is amazing now there's a tv here you can't see it but it's an amazing built-in with the library shelves on each side and more storage on the bottom go ahead pam it's a monster this unit because it's 10 feet long 10 feet long wow wow so if you still carry dvds <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> you have all this storage you can slot them in there or if you just like to read also that is amazing now we got a bench on each side with the window sills and the window sills are made out of stone Oh, they are. So that's a nice little touch that they added right here. And it's like the pillars outside. They look like a travertine. Yes, yes. That's a nice look. Love that, right? So enough room again for that couch, coffee table, more seating area. As we come through, guys, we have a dining room here. Now, this is an informal dining, right? But this is the size of a formal dining, right? It's not closed in between walls and it's all open but you can sit easily eight people here without a problem. And you have enough space for that cadenza that sits there and a built-in wall. Another one, yes. Now the dining area is 14 by 16. 14 by 16. And I forgot to mention that the living room area is 22 by 20. 22 by 20, wow, that's nice. Really nice. Now, again, this home has the modern open area theme. So we're just gonna flow on in to the kitchen area of the home. Now, this kitchen is phenomenal, guys. You have to take a look. We have waterfall edges coming down on the island, right? And by the way, Pam, did you measure this island? Oh, of course. All right. Six by six. Six by six, right? This is a functional top, which means that the sink is not here, but rather while your kids are playing in the pool and you're doing dishes, right? You can watch them right from here. I love that. Nice. So. The sinks are by the windows, which is amazing. They have the white top here, and then they have the gray top here. And again, going back to the island, why it's a functional island, if you bake, if you serve uh, food, and you have an area where people could just pick on food, this is just a flat top to give you that surface area. Amazing. Now, on the other side of this island, so there's a seating side, and then there's the functional side. We have drawers on both sides all the way down and these are those pots and pan drawers that are really deep yeah. right and we have two layers of that so let me tell you your emerald lagasi set right in there <laughs> now we have the uh convection oven and we have the regular oven of course it's a gourmet kitchen right we have the 42 inch cabinet and the double stock on top with the crown molding which is amazing and here's your doggy draw we're not leaving that out right we also have this dark cabinetry following us through but before we go here's your garbage one and it's elevated i missed that yeah look at this so it's so you don't have to go all the way down to dump a can of soda or or garbage it's 
right here, waist level. I love that because guess who takes out the garbage in my house? <laughs> so more 42 inch cabinets, more display cases, but we do have the stainless steel and glass range that takes the smells outside of the home. We have this large oversized gray and glass um, subway tile on the back and we have a four burner electric top here, more cabinetry on the bottom for storage. So plenty, all these drawers are functional. They all move, they all have a purpose and it lines all the way down. But what's amazing is here's your sink. It's a double sided sink, right? With your gooseneck but you also have your dishwasher right next to the sink. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Now, I would just like to mention that the crown molding match, it goes right up to the ceiling. Yes. So there's no empty holes there. There is no empty space. All the spaces are, are used up, but pull back a little bit, Pam, because I need people to understand that there's two windows here. It's not just a one little window. They put like a little window sometimes. This is a panoramic view of your backyard between these two windows. So. This is amazing. I love this, you know, so this is a great feature for the home. Again, you get to see everything that's going on in your backyard. Amazing. Now, on the other side of that island, guys, we have the refrigerator cubby here, right? We have more uh, of the cubby stacked and the double stack on top. So the refrigerator cubby and the double stack, excuse me, on top. Your baseboards are five inches in a bowl. Oh, I just walked in front of you, sorry. <laughs> we, uh, they're about five inches on the baseboard and then they have a couple more notches up. So it's an elevated option on the baseboard. But look at this pantry. It's a room, literally guys, it a is. room. It is, you can get a lot of stuff. In here. Oh yeah. And so, then it goes behind the door, but. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you're one of those people that are a doomsday prepper, you need a lot of rice and cans, that room would accommodate you. <laughs> now guys, move along right here, right? And we are into the mud room of the home. Now, why I say it's the mud room, we have this built in, there's a transom window here, and there's a small built in to sit on to change your shoes. You got shoe cubbies on the bottom. This comes with the homes, guys. This is amazing. You have your book bag hangers, you have your overhanging shelves for storage. Kids come home, you drive in the garage, book bags, keys, Nintendo, boom, done. <laughs> now this is very impressive room because it's 11 by seven and look at all this storage, it goes all yeah. the way up. So this side, I didn't even start talking about this side. This side, because it's so close to the kitchen, you can actually use this side as your butler's pantry. So if you're having a catered event, guess where the, where the butler's gonna be working from or the cook? They're gonna be working from here to bring your drinks and your food from the other side. But Remember, this side also has 42 inch cabinets. It also has storage on the top and the bottom. And behind us here is your three car tandem garage. Should we show them? Sure. All right. So there is some storage still in here, guys, but I just wanted to let you know, take a look, right? That look how much space you have. And then the tandem drop back here is amazing. Now, here's another thing. So you have the two spots for the cars, then you have another spot by the water heater for the car, but that's not it. Beyond, be, under your staircase from the other side is another notched out area so you can stuff your Christmas stuff under there. So that's awesome. So there's plenty of space in here as well. I love it. Now guys, let's roll back out and I wanna roll to the patio door area. But before we do that as well, I kinda wanna show you the summer bathroom. Now, what do I mean by summer bathroom? Well, guys, you can walk into this large bathroom area. You have a vanity with the white stone top, dark cabinets. You got the window, uh, window, mirror, sorry. Today it's a window. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have pendant lighting, right? You pass your commode, but you also have a grand shower. Here, guys, take a look at that. Now, it's a little dark, so excuse me for, you know, it's the time of day, sorry about that but we also lead out into our backyard area from here. Guys, take a look. Right into your summer kitchen. Amazing, so we have the, the uh, range, we have the grill, we have the access points and the fridge here and that T-wall to let the smoke go out and, and away from the home. And right? a little sink. Yeah, show them that sink really quickly, Pam. That's awesome, we have a little utility sink there. Very nice, very nice. Now, what comes with the home, I know usually in my videos, because this is a listing, 
you know, and usually I'm telling you guys, this is what you can get with your home. No, this is what comes with the home. <laughs> this is a pool, guys, a freaking pool. <laughs> it comes within the price of the home, right? It's a lovely pool and you have your spa on the side here. That's amazing. So, you know, we do get some leads from the conservation area, but clean this up, heat that up, get a, get a beer and, and you're, you're set. good. Go. <laughs> That's Florida living. <laughs> And look how much space you have on the drop after the pool deck. Lots of space. It is gated and you do have only conservation behind you. No rear neighbors. Now, guys, real quickly, we do have these sliding pocket doors. You have three sets of fans on top and enough room to get furniture like this for the home. Amazing. Right now, again, manic manicured uh, landscaping, right? Really way age well and taken care of. Love the shapes, so as long as you continue that, you're in for a nice treat out here. So let's roll on back, guys. What we're gonna do is do a little fast forward action to the stairs, and let's start explaining what's in the area. All right, guys, so here is your elegant steps to go upstairs. Pam is gonna go upstairs, a little bit of slow motion action to show you the staircase, because the staircase, believe it or not, is very beautiful, has that nice dark wood and railing. And then when you get upstairs, you have more wrought iron. It is beautiful. So as she's going up the stairs, I'm gonna let you know where we at. All right, guys, so Publix is six minutes away. Waterford Lakes Town Center is 10 minutes away. Plenty of shopping there. Now the Orlando Airport MCO is 21 minutes away. Disney Park is 32 minutes away. And downtown Orlando is just a short 23 minutes away. All right, guys, so here we are. And as soon as you come up the stairs with that beautiful wrought iron, we're gonna take a closer look at that. I love that, that modern look on the wrought iron because they have the knots in the middle and it goes all the way and follows the hallway down to the left. Now, before this we go the down there, this is the room. <laughs> this <laughs> guys, is it. <laughs> Star Wars themed loft area slash movie room. It's a good size TV, first off. Let's compliment them on that. Yay. Great size TV, but big old cadenza. They got the right idea with the beers and the snacks. Now they got this display cases on the bottom here with plenty of displays, right? But you also have the L couch here. You have enough room for a little dining and another seater here, but guys, boom, boom, boom. You go upstairs up to the elevated seating area with three window sets on the back. That's amazing. You're, you're king up here. That is amazing. That is so good. I love it. Guys, we have another window up here on this side here. So natural, all natural light, but you're gonna have to get blackout curtains to watch those movies, right? And then we have a little transom window on the side and wood paneling facing the whole wall, wall uh, on, the, on the front and on the left. Check out the Millennium Falcon Hyperdrive. <laughs> that picture is amazing. I love it. But Pam, take a look up here. Yeah, the, the paneling tray on tray ceiling with the speakers throughout. Look at these speakers. Surround sound, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six speakers up here to pump your pachoon pachoon from Star Wars <laughs> throughout the whole home, right? Amazing. Now, what I love is this caddy corner right here with more Star Wars pictures. My favorite ride, the X-Wing. <laughs> we have a table here just to sit, drink, play cards. That is amazing. Love that. Popcorn machine. Awesome. And we have another seating area here just for games, giggles, and such. So that is amazing. Now, let's show you this first set of patio doors because we have two. We have one here. We have one here, actually we have three, one coming off the master, right, or the primary. And I'm gonna open this up. Wait, did I skip on sizes? Yes, you did. This loft area is 26 by 18. 26 by 18, guys. Look, even Chewy on the couch loves it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's walk out to our view deck. We want, this is your wraparound porch, so the view deck is amazing. We get up here, guys and check it out. This runs, this little railing runs all the way around on the view deck. I mean, this is insane. Like, so let's start off with this section. 
going down. Sorry, I'm already off and running. I know, Pam is like walking away from me. Well, I want, I want to say it, it is 39 yeah. by 16. 39 by 16 on the view deck, love it. Lounge chairs, we have another seating area off of those, pa those patio doors over there, which goes to the primary bedroom suite. And then we have a middle section here and a rear section. You can have a whole party up here. Yeah, I mean, you just open up all these doors and you're in and out, it's, oh, it's beautiful. That's a great party. Now, we also have the conservation area out here, right? And look at the view of your pool deck from below. Very, very nice, guys. Very. Pam's lining it up. She's lining it up. <laughs> so here, you can see your whole entire backyard. Upstairs, I can see a downstairs, upstairs party happening in here. This is a great home for entertainment. Now, guys, we're going to head back in, back into our Star Wars themed loft area. Now, you might see me sweating a little bit because it is out hot out here today and we were on the view deck. So, you know. I wasn't running a marathon, but it feels like it. <laughs> well, we're just working. Yeah. Now we come down this hallway with this railing, beautiful open feel, right? I'm going to pass this bedroom and we're going to run right into our laundry room, which comes with the washer and dryer on elevated stacks, right? We have 42 inch cabinets on top. We have a folding table at the end by the window. We have two, one on each side. One on each side. More cabinetry on the bottom, oh. up and down, right? And then when Pam comes back to me, we have this utility sink right here. We have a utility sink right here. And then here is your utility closet with your ACs. And Very then I have nice. another closet. Yeah, here. and another closet. The linen closet. Okay. There's your linen closet. All right. Now, as we exit the hallway, I do like how they finish this off going to the left on the rail of the stairs. It gives it that open space. But, guys, as we get to the end of the hallway, we have a bedroom, bedroom, and a bathroom behind me. Let's start with the bathroom. It's for the second floor, full Hi. service. <laughs> we have dual vanities. We have a tub with the tiles all the way up, a little transom window above the commode as well. And I love how the tiles went all the way up, right? And then here is our vanity area with the, all these are functioning drawers, very nice, light top, mirror and pendant lighting. Now, as we come through and we make a right from the uh, restroom, bathroom, <laughs> we come into another bedroom here. Cadenza fits easily, full size bed. We have a window here, and I love how all the windows are decorative in this home. Yes. That's awesome, that's unique. Half step in closet here. And this bedroom is 10 by 11. 10 by 11, very nice. Now, pulling out of this bedroom and going straight across the hall before, here is the linen closet for that bathroom before we go all the way over. And again, guys, we have another nice size bedroom. All these rooms are pretty big. A dual window here with a high sill, right? But lots of, plenty of natural light coming through. Full size bed, large nice stands. And the half closet is behind Pam. And it's 14 by 11. 14 by 11. Love it, love it. And the high ceilings stay within the second floor, which is amazing. And when we step out into the hallway, just a little feature that I want to put out, put, out, put out there is that we have a crown molding on all of the outside area of these rooms. The hallway areas, the loft, all that. Now, again, guys, ready, get ready to be wild. The size of this primary is ridiculous. This is amazing. Here are your patio doors going to the outside and I love you guys, but I'm not gonna go out there again cause I'll be a sweaty mess. <laughs> but these are your patio doors with the rest of the other two patio doors to open up your whole view deck of the second floor. This is a king size bed, but it looks like a twin size bed in this room. It's like, I could barely see you. <laughs> the room is 18 by 18. 18 by 18 with a tray ceiling with double crown molding, one, two on each side, chandelier, we have speakers in the, in the tray ceiling, two on each side. So lots of nice music while you go to bed, even maybe rain sounds and stuff like that. 
right? <laughs> we have two windows for natural light pouring in, especially from the pocket doors. High night stands, easy. And then we have this credenza with a good size TV. Man, I love how they listen. <laughs> it's amazing. But it's taken them so long. I know, I know. How many videos have you oh, done? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but guys, we're not done. As we crawl through, we have a his and hers closet set here. Already done. Oh, yep. nice. All built in. We have the even the bench in the middle just to take a take a seat we have your shoe drawers look at this look at this Woo. how many shoes can you guys fit in here <laughs> huh look at that so beautiful love that now we have the gentleman's side over here nice cubbies and you know what you know guys we got shoes too right we got shoes too or jewelry yeah, no, 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 watches no no no, right? no move 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 oh, uh -oh. that one's for laundry that oh yeah, that yeah. One's for, no yeah. show them okay okay <laughs> Hey, that's what, that you have to learn. You don't have to learn. Uh, you no, know, you learn. <laughs> All right. So, no, beautiful built-ins around both closets. Beautiful. And the car carpet is nice quality plush carpet. Now, as we roll in, guys, we roll into the primary bath suite. Look at this tile, slate tile on the floor. I love the waves in it. Very nice. But now, let's get let's get crazy. Let's get we got an island. Let me show it. Right <laughs> In the bathroom, an island, a real island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now look, guys, come over to this side, right? We have is a display case, so your shampoos. Oh, no, no, no. My purses. Yep. Well, your my purses, purses, my perfumes. Whatever she wants in there, <laughs> you can see it from the outside. <laughs> Seashells, purses, whatever, <laughs> right? We have enough room to put a bench right here, guys, with these dual windows for more natural lighting. We have another display case on this side. So, hey, maybe seashells, purses on the other side. Hey, whatever. <laughs> but we have, uh, you know, this is a great modern bathroom. Above counter sinks. Take a look at this. Above the counter sinks, love that. We have the stylish modern mirrors with the pendant lighting, of course. More cabinetry on the bottom, and they're all functional, right? These all open up. Oh, there was stuff in there. <laughs> right? All this stuff is amazing. Oops, Look at this, a linen, a linen closet with built-ins. Nice. No wires, guys, built-ins. So that's great. And then, anybody want to take a shower with me? We can go in here together because this is amazingly huge. I love this Lestello, this Lestello. Oh, and you have three, three controls. Three controls. So you have one for this. Uh, head this for the movable head and then the rain shower head and then you have two high hots here and you have a transom window here but look i love this beautiful estello it's unique i love it i like it yeah and it's, then it's the, like feathers yep and then on the floor we have the pebble the pebble flooring amazing amazing the only thing is missing is a bench yeah but i like the beveled so that there's no seam here oh yeah it yeah i love that on the glass nicely. Yeah. yeah this glass is amazing Seamless glass, love it. It's just, it's just really, really quality work. All right. And the crown molding follows into the bathroom. Into the bathroom, the crown molding follows. And there is your commode room right here. Okay. All right, guys. That was a sweater, that one. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm hot. But this is the perfect home for you. Give me a call if you're interested for a tour or if you're interested in more in this neighborhood, there is another listing that we have right next door. So give me the call at 407-790-0929. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando real estate agent. Hit subscribe and like. I'll see you guys on the next one.